Hey guys, thanks for showing up. In this video, I'm going to show you a small tip you can use to maintain proper squat technique. Now I've placed side by side a correct squat and an incorrect squat. The incorrect squat has its bum still pretty high up in the air. That is not a full range of motion on the squat. Also, look at how the head trails over the toes and on the right version, the head, the knees, and the toes are all in one parallel line. Now this tip is going to give you feedback to maintain proper squat technique. Place something into the ground that's going to stick up nice and straight and not move. You can use a broomstick or you can have your partner hold a stick on the ground. You want to line your toes up to the front of this guide. Second, make sure your knee moves in line with the direction of your foot. Don't have your knee and ankle twisting. Your knees move forward and your toes are pointing in that direction. And now with that visual guide in front of you, you're going to make sure your head does not drift past it. Otherwise, you're going to hit into it and knock it over. Now my foam roller is standing there nice and still, and you can tell if your head is going to reach out over top of this guide. Now some people complain that they don't have enough squat depth, meaning they can't get their bum down to parallel. Well, that's something that you can aim towards, but there's no excuse for your head to be drifting way over in front of your toes. You want to come downwards nice and straight. And now one small change that people like to do is they like to angle their feet outwards. This is called a sumo squat. This tends to open up your hips and allows you to drive your bum further down, increasing that range of motion. So if you can't get your bum low in the normal squat position with your toes facing forwards, try to angle your feet out slightly more than normal and spread your feet out a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Here is the normal squat from a front view. Drop your bum nice and low. And now this is the sumo squat. Toes pointed a little bit further out and legs spread further than shoulder width apart. 